When you wake up, what do you do? Do you first take a shower, brush your teeth, get dressed, eat breakfast, and then you go out for the day? Maybe you first start out with a jog, then eat your breakfast, brush your teeth, take a shower, get dressed, and go outside? Or do you wake up and then go straight back to bed? Whether you strictly follow a morning routine or like to be spontaneous, you're going through a sequence when you wake up in the morning. A sequence is not a fixed pattern or an instruction manual. It shows the series of events or steps in a process. Your morning routine is the steps you take from waking up to finish preparing for the day. We're usually unaware of the sheer amount of sequences that we are going through, let alone all the others that go on around us. But sometimes we like to capture these sequences in a diagram. Being able to visualize a sequence chart this way can help us do so many things. They can be used to help us understand the events of the past and help us learn for the future. If we want to evaluate the things that go on around us, we can use sequence charts to discover them and see if there are areas that can be changed or improved. Lastly, sequence charts are useful for planning. We can see an end goal in sight and build a sequence chart to help us get there. They're helpful for school projects or planning out personal goals. A sequence chart can go something like this. You start by identifying a story, a process, or a result of some kind and begin listing out the steps it takes to complete that process, achieve that result, or the events that occur within a story. One step should lead to the next one. It can sort of look like a map by the time you're finished. Visualizing your chart like this can help you see the relationship of causes and effects between the different steps. It can also help you see if the process is complete or if there are unexplained gaps in the narrative. You're able to build your own charts and analyze them in Lucidchart. In fact, we'll show you how to make your own sequence chart. Start by opening a blank diagram by clicking on plus documents on the documents page. For this example, let's build a sequence chart of a body cell cycle. You may have heard of this before. We also call it mitosis. Let's start at the beginning of the process and list the first step, interphase, the phase where a single cell prepares for division. Drag a shape from the left toolbox out into the canvas. Double click on the shape to edit the text. This is the first step. Drag another shape out and here we'll list the next step, prophase. Let's connect our steps and show the direction of the flow by using a line. Hover over the shape you want to connect from and click and drag from these red dots. Continuing on with the sequence chart, we'll add the rest of the steps until we reach the end, which is when the cell reaches cytokinesis. The sequence may be complete, but we can add images and additional information alongside it. On the top of the left toolbox, click on search. From here, you can perform a quick filtered search for images and icons you can use in your diagram. These pictures act like shapes in Lucidchart, and you can draw lines to connect them as well. You can edit the design features of your chart by using the properties bar above the canvas. If you're working on this chart with someone else or in a group, use the comment and chat features to collaborate on your design together. If you'd rather use a template or a sequence chart that's already made, click on Education Templates on the Documents page. Once you open a template you like, it's automatically saved in your Documents page, and you're free to edit the template any way you'd like. Using a sequence chart is an excellent way to understand a complicated process or creating plans for yourself. Now that we've seen what sequence charts can do and how to make them, you can start making your own in Lucidchart.